Gaishin has just implemented the last of their rank-based economy changes, and it's created quite the uproar in the community. For those who don't know, Gaijin decided some time ago that the rewards given after War Thunder battles would be adjusted based on rank of the vehicle played. Higher ranks will give more rewards, but much higher repair costs to go with it, and lower ranks is the opposite. So how did they decide to make this change? Well, through community voting. And as it turns out, 73% of you who voted picked the rank-based economy. Now it is harder than ever for most of you out there, especially those who play a lot of top tier vehicles, to actually make any Silver Lion profit while playing War Thunder. Now the real solution to the bankruptcy problem plaguing the War Thunder community everywhere would be to simply try to improve at the PvP aspect of the game. Being better than other players is going to dramatically increase your profits, reduce your repair costs, and make the game overall more enjoyable and rewarding to play. But let's be real, I'm just a toxic fighter main that has played enough War Thunder that if you sat down and never slept, ate, or did anything besides play War Thunder continuously for 6 months straight, it still would not equal my playtime. So what the hell do I know? I've been playing War Thunder since I was 12 years old, I am nearly 22 now, and I've been every stereotype of War Thunder player that you could possibly think of. From console noob to bomber dad to history enthusiast, wannabe tryhard that still sucked at the game, a PC noob when I finally got my computer, a premium noob, you get the point. I've shared the mindset of pretty much every single type of player that plays War Thunder at some point in time, so I completely get most of the thinking that a lot of people have. But in the end of the day, the best way to truly play War Thunder is to simply improve. There is an infinite amount of things to learn on the PvP side of the game, and it's undoubtedly the most fun and rewarding once you actually pick up on it and get the hang of it. Now, with all that being said, I will shut up and tell you how to actually make profit in War Thunder, since I realized just now that I was being completely delusional a few seconds ago when I thought for a single second that any 2023 War Thunder player cares about anything other than collecting all the new vehicles as quickly as possible, never actually learning how to play or use the unlocks properly that will actually result in fun and success cry about it, and then move on to the next unlike unlock goal. So, let's talk bombing. Bombing is a great way for disabled War Thunder players that cannot fathom the idea of learning how to play the video game to make Silver Lions. In fact, here's a great bomber on screen you've been watching it the entire time, the JU-288, possibly one of the most cancerous additions ever added to War Thunder. It has single-handedly ruined the entire 5.0 to 6.0 BR bracket just because of how reliably it makes Silver Lions. It's a very, very popular choice among the bomber SL grinding players. Just because it gets so much SL rewards and it's a bomber, it's constantly spammed out at this matchmaker. With these 1800 kilogram bombs, you can kill one base per bomb drop. That is one whole base per spacebar press, and you get two bombs. That's two whole bases per flyout, netting you plenty of SL per game, and oftentimes you can take off, or you can land, re rearm, get some more bombs, take off again, hit some more bases for even more bombing Silver Lions. And that's only further amplified if you're running a premium account. Fighters? You don't really have to worry about fighters. You're just as fast in a straight line as a lot of these fighters at this 5.0 and 6.0 BR, Actually, at 5.0, you're probably faster than a lot of the planes you're going to be going up against, and not only that, if they do catch you, you are surrounded by 20mm defense turrets. Yes, I said 20mm. So not only are you going to be a pain in the ass for any of the fighters to actually catch up to you to try to kill you down, once they get there, you're probably going to have a better chance at killing them than they are going to kill you. So basically, if you're really struggling at top tier to actually make some silver lions, you heard it here first, well, probably haven't, but I'm telling you that the JU-288 is a premium vehicle that might be worth picking up if you're having a hard time buying or getting some Silver Lions. It's a one-time purchase. Granted, it's not free. I understand that. But Gaishin has made it so difficult for some of these lesser skilled players to actually make money that you really don't have too much of op too many options as far as actually getting SL in 2023 with this rank-based system. If you don't want to play low tier props, uh, not that low tier props even makes you that much SL, but it's better than losing SL like you will at top tier if you're not getting a consistent amount of kills per game and then dying. 73% though. 73% voted for this. Yeah, well, I don't even know why I'm trying to help anyone make SL at this point, <laughs> but you know, 
there are ways to do it. Also, I would like to point out that ground pounding in general isn't necessarily a bad idea. I do show a clip of me playing the, uh, what is it, the HE219, maybe, I'm going to guess. There's some German premium at 4.3 that has two 30mm cannons that are great at one-shotting tanks. So you can go ahead and pop an anti-mech order, dive straight for the enemy tanks, and try to shoot as many of you, as many of those ground targets as you can before the enemies come and shoot you down. It's a consistent 20 KSL per game. Uh, before you end up getting shot down, it takes about two or three minutes to do before you die with a 2,000 silver lion repair cost. So if we do the math, you make 20,000 silver lions in about three to four minutes. You die and pay 2,000, that's 18,000 profit in about three to four minutes. And then you just queue up again, do the exact same thing. And within the span of an hour, you could have yourself uh, hundreds of thousands of silver lions. Not only that, as I mentioned just a few minutes ago, or a few seconds ago, that if you have an anti-mech order while you're shooting those ground targets, it's actually going to multiply your Silver Lion's reward by three. So that will definitely add up every time you kill a ground target. Since we're on the topic of bombers real quick, that was, that was just been a silly video so far. I even wrote a script just to add some irony to it. I was reading the script in the beginning. Uh, very out of character video for me, I know. But I thought it'd be kind of fun. Again, since we are talking about bombers, I want to touch on one very popular bomber topic, and that is the idea of stealing bases. If you guys don't know what stealing bases is, at the beginning of the match, most of the bombers on your team are going to paint the map, and they will paint the map on the base that they intend to bomb. If you bomb a base that somebody else has already pinged, more than likely they're going to get pretty mad about it. They might even type you some fan mail in chat. I've seen some pretty big YouTubers do this before. You paint the map you've taken their base and now they're going to call you names and be mean to you in chat because of it well the whole idea of calling bases makes absolutely no sense to me because if we want to talk fair how is painting a base fair whoever has better internet whoever has better hardware is always going to spawn in first and if they spawn in first and they get to paint the map first the person that hasn't paid hundreds of dollars on good hardware or maybe can't afford the best internet will never be able to paint a base before somebody that does how that's the majority of people's idea of fair is beyond me but if it were up to me if you're going to take my advice on bombing just pick a pick a target out at the start of the game paint it maybe I mean, don't expect anyone to listen to it, don't be mad if people don't listen to it, but paint it, see if people stay away from it, and just pick one and go kill it. And on the flip side, if all the bases have been called already on the map, just go and get one anyways. Who cares? Nobody cares. They spawned in first, that doesn't give them any right to the base more than you, uh, just because they spawn in and click the map first. That makes absolutely no sense. There's a lot of factors that goes into who spawns first anyways that we already talked about that are out of a lot of people's control. So it's just a dumb idea, and you know what, it's made by a community of people that enjoy pressing spacebar on bots, so I'm not surprised that it's a dumb idea. If you're the faster plane, and you're gonna get there quicker, just drop your bombs, go to the next one. The person behind you can cope, maybe you should be picking a better vehicle for ground striking. That's pretty much the rest of my bomber rant, I'm gonna just leave the last couple seconds play out. Hope you guys enjoyed, good luck grinding some SL, and I will see you later.